we bring public attention to whistleblowers, to the need to protect them, to the value that they add to our society, how they protect each of us in terms of our health. Last November, uh, the Congress, if you can imagine, unanimously passed whistleblower protection for all federal employees except those in national security. When the Bush administration came in in 2001, we started to notice a difference in how they were handling climate science communication. Over a period of time, um, I documented in a number of ways um, what I observed going on in the political manipulation of the science program. I wanted actual counts, like how much salmonella is considered acceptable, and no one in any of the plants knew. I had to look it up on the Department of Agriculture website to even know what the acceptable levels were, so when I got a lab report, I could look at it and go, wow, this is over the limit or under the limit, or this is acceptable or this is not acceptable. I wrote a policy, and, and this is just totally my own, brought in my former lab manager, tried to set up a real quality assurance program immediately after I went on Good Morning America, which was the only way to get anybody to look at the Texas plant, I was told by another employee, watch out, they, they want to get rid of you. It took them nine months. I'm on the blacklist, so that's it. I cannot find a job, can't afford to move, lost my house, car, every, I mean, totally isolated in my area. And have been told in interviews that I am not being hired because I am a whistleblower. The problem of holding public officials accountable that, um, that wouldn't have happened in quite the same way if we hadn't put out inside information. And, and I think there's a lot of, I personally, I think that there ought to be a very great deal more whistleblowing. When you come across this dilemma, and I don't even put it if, it could be tomorrow or it can be 40 years from now, you're gonna come across a moral, ethical, legal dilemma of major significance. Don't turn in every little thing, I'm not saying that. But when you hit this major issue, you're going to have to do what, uh, whatever it is you can do to sleep at night.